Shrives, how are you all doing today? Very well. Good. Super. Grand. Super smashing great. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty okay. Good considering the weather. How are you, Will? I'm amazing. Good. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to do a few of these over the next few months. Uh, this is one about uh, the single coming out shortly. Very shortly. It's called Moneymaker. 2nd of March we're releasing it. Mm -hmm. And yep. we're doing a release gig at Fox Tolbert's on the 3rd of March, on the Saturday. We have a couple of bands, <laughs> The Chase from Nottingham and George Gad, and a band from Essex called Victories. Yep, and it's going to be a good pound, night. Five pound to get in, or five pound a ticket if you buy them in advance. Now tell me, you've got you've got a couple of others coming after, which is not uh, what we're going to talk about now, because that's a taboo subject for this interview. <laughs> <laughs> um, are they different to each other though? I don't know, they're just, uh, the second one releasing is a bit more anthemy, isn't it? Anthemic. Yes. Yeah, and the third one's a bit more punky, I'd say. Yeah. Mm. All over the place. So what's what's Money Maker all about? Love. Love, yeah. Not it's about, about money. No, yeah. it's not about money. It's just a better title than I want you, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> Uh, yeah, someone's already done that. Bob Dylan, yeah. spiritualised. Yeah. Yeah. Every Beatles. First line of the song. So I think the Beatles. Yeah. yeah. It sticks in your head, I think. Hopefully it'll stick mm. in heads. What's the cat's name? Barry oh, Leslie. Leslie. <laughs> <laughs> After our wonderful camera man. Our cameraman has uh, given us a good name to use. His middle name's Barry This is going to be a good interview. Got yeah, a, not many interviews with cats. Got a lot of cats. If you, if you get the CD, you'll notice there's a cat on the back cover. Yeah, the CD cover is and and just cover. over there. And That's where we took the, the photo, photo, and there was a cat. There's a cat. <laughs> I'm holding, yeah. cradling a cat. So I don't really like cats. <laughs> <laughs> You're allergic to cats, mate. I'm allergic. No, I'm the not. The song's about being Tourette's. allergic to love. Yeah, actually. yeah. Yeah, yeah the song is about um, love and shit. <laughs> There's no cats in it. No cats in it. No That's cats. just. Uh, for aesthetic. Yeah. There's a cat on the front cover. Yeah, no, no cats in this song oh, though. No. Yeah, we, we, we sort of messed up because we, we wanted it to be really stylized. Then we did a picture in a mannequin form, a <laughs> video one. at Skegness, yeah. and a zoom in on a cat. Yeah, yeah. It's Nothing weird. to it do. It works though, I think yeah. it works. It, it sort of works. Henry, did you feel like you were the only one in the band that could have the photo with the cat? Did you not feel like maybe, I don't know, Josh could have no, no, uh, no, taken I, I was never going to let Josh have, have the cat. He, he, we could have had two cats. Henry's idea. Yeah. Henry owns the idea. For there it, was so. a cat really just gravitated towards you anyway, so it's it's, only, there's, yeah. no, there's no question. I was so yeah. desperate though. Happens yeah. to be Matt today that's gravitating too. So. Yeah, different, mm. different cat, different person, that's yeah. what I say. Yeah. Joe, what's your middle name? Richard. Oh. Dick, Dick for short. <laughs> <laughs> Call me... Dick Short. Call me Dick Short. What was it about Fox Talbots that made you want to want to do it there? Because we, 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 we had it, we had so many venues that wanted it, but those guys have been yeah, so kind to us. We left it very late, to be honest. We didn't really know when we were going to release it last year. Like at the end of last year, we were trying to figure out because it, first it was like coming out. Uh, I think it was like early February. Then it was late Feb, and now it's early March. But. Um, yeah, we just didn't book it in time, but we, we wanted to play there before. Yeah, and it, it was it's a not, pretty it's, good. It's a nice place. It's pretty. It's pretty cool. It's pretty yeah. different. So I think it'll be alright if we just get everyone to come down. I think. Yeah, it'll be it'll good be, anyway. It'll be a good night. Matt, do you write the songs? Yes. Why did you write this one the way you did? Um, I didn't really want it to sound like that, to be <laughs> honest. Not being bad to you guys, but I don't know. I wanted it to be a bit uh, a lot lighter. I didn't really want it as kind of well. It's light anyway, but a lot lighter, like just acoustic and not really any electric guitars. But um, I don't know. I just it's just we came. It just it. came about, didn't it? Yeah. Oh, it did. And then we just kind of leave it if it if it works. So yeah. Do you think it goes well acoustic? So uh, because uh, you two did an acoustic session earlier, which I'm sure you can check out somewhere. Um, does, does it work acoustic nicely like you would have planned if it had gone differently, do you think yep. it would have? the first time we've played it acoustic, isn't it? Well, yeah, properly. I mean, I did a demo of it and yeah. in my head it was very, I don't know, I was listening to a lot of a band called Foxygen. The song is nothing like them, but their, like, their early stuff is quite light and kind of like 60s feel. We kind of have some weird instruments in there, but we kind of got some new stuff in the song that we haven't used in previous songs. I mean, we've used like Glockenspiel before, but yeah. that's a lot more in there. Whilst there's a Mellotron. There's a Mellotron in there. Yeah. There's, um, a Moneymaker. Yeah, a Moneymaker. Money and just like the middle section and stuff, sample just to kind of bright, yeah, sample like stuff. Electric drums. Yeah. yeah. 
So we're kind of delving into that stuff kind of a bit more. In a bit experimental. Yeah. Is there any plans for the year then? Like, um, obviously you've got the three singles. Are you planning on doing shows in, in, in other places around the country? Are you, are you planning on doing a tour we or something? Really festivals? Yeah. yeah. And we, it, will, it will happen this year. Well, there's there's a plan to do it. Uh, yeah. At the moment it's kind of always, like last year it's just in <coughs> Nottingham, just to try and like, get a foot in the door in Nottingham. Yeah. But yeah. I guess if it all goes well and we get a bit of you know, a bit of momentum with the songs and there'll be you know, we need to go out and play elsewhere. But what's Hopefully more we places? get plenty plenty of gigs from this and things will pick up. Oh god, oh, Jesus. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I had a sudden startled. I want you. 